Texas is being declared as the prison rape capital of the U.S., and a federal survey shows the Clements unit in Amarillo is the worst of the lot. News Channel 10's Corey Duke decided to fact check this declaration. She joins us now live in the studio with her findings. I found this accusation to be a hot button issue, and after speaking with multiple sources, it turns out there's a lot of disagreement on what goes on behind those prison walls. The Clements unit has come under fire after a federal survey was made public. The survey says at the Clements unit, more prisoners reported being forced, coerced, or pressured into sexual contact with staff than any other male prison in the country. These reports are strictly coming from inmate surveys collected by the Justice Department. I spoke with two former Clements employees who wish to remain anonymous, one in fear of guards, the other in fear of inmates. I made an inmate get out of bed and he couldn't even walk and he told me that he was sexually assaulted and beat by officers during a strip search and when I sent him to the infirmary and they started talking to him he was too scared to talk. The guard says the weeks the inmate was bedridden his cellmate would sneak him food because he was afraid of retaliation by officers. The guard ended up quitting because after they reported the incident they say they received death threats from other officers. Another former Clements employee says these allegations aren't entirely true. They are there for high crimes. They are there for murder, for the, the worst crimes that they could commit is why, how you get to the Clements unit. The guard says these inmates are manipulative and will report anything to change their circumstance. Hence the findings in the federal survey taken only by inmates. Did I ever see where Offenders got uh, hurt and then accused someone else? Yes, they do that all the time. That is just standard operating procedure. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice released this statement on the matter claiming the agency has a zero tolerance policy against sexual encounters of any kind within the system. They go on to say there is an extensive safe prisons program aimed at preventing, investigating and prosecuting sexual assault and other violence which is in place at all TDCJ facilities, including the Clements Unit. Reports show prison staff are blamed for sexual abuse in over half of all prison and jail reports in the country. Live in the studio, Corey Duke, News Channel 10.